Hey everyone, so I'm back. This was supposed to be a different kind of video. On this video, I was planning to try different foods and talk about them, sort of a reaction video, but things kind of didn't work that way. I know a couple videos ago, I had said something about some post-nasal drainage. It got a little worse. I went to my doctor. Now, granted, I had my flu shot, but I still wasn't sure. You know, there's always that chance. So my doctor tested anyway for the flu and he came back and said, you're negative for the flu, which was great news for me. He gave me some medicine, sent me home, and I was ready to be on the mend and get better. It didn't happen. I started getting worse and ended up having to go to the ER and I have bronchitis. My son, my youngest son at the same time also got sick and he ended up in the ER as well and he tested positive for bronchitis as well. So <laughs> I'm just in that place right now. I'm on some super powerful antibiotics which taste, you know, your tastes change when you're on these kind of medications. It changes my taste is basically what I'm trying to say. So nothing's going to taste right anyway. So I said, well, while I'm healing and getting better, I guess, you know, I'll just hold off that video to another date. Um, on the other hand, um, like I said, I thought it was just a cold or maybe even some post-nasal drip. It had been cold here uh, in the state where I live. We had actually gotten some snow. So it was really low temperatures so it didn't really surprise me when I got some post nasal drip because that's common for me to do uh, when the temperatures start getting especially if they're wet and cold I get a little nasally and I take Zyrtec or Claritin and it goes away but this was one situation where it didn't which really surprised me because I haven't been sick like this for over two years I haven't had anything upper respiratory related for the past, well, not in the, you know, infection family for the past two years. I mean, sure, everybody gets a little sniffle now and then, a little cough. I take something, it goes away. This is, <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm going to be coughing a little bit. This is the first time in nearly, uh, probably two and a half years that I've actually gotten a full infection, which is not fun, especially when you have a toddler who also at the same time has an infection. So I'm sorry if I look rougher than usual. Um, I actually did feel good enough last night to take the kids out to see Frozen 2. I left my youngest with his uh, grandparents, but I took the two oldest out to see Frozen 2 and I have to say I really enjoyed it so did they it was really nice experience it was nice to get out um, of course I had my face mask on so I didn't breathe on people but it was nice to just kind of get out of the house and you know get out you know you know when you're sick sometimes you do need to just get out and don't contaminate anyone you know get a face mask wear it sanitize, wash your hands when you go to the bathroom, that sort of thing. But it was a really nice experience, so I was grateful for that. As for today, we're just resting, and um, I thought, well, it's, I'll put a, it's Friday, so I'll put a video up just explaining why I'm not doing the intended video that I was going to do originally. Um, just still on the mend. Start to feel a little better. Don't, still don't feel great, but I don't feel as bad as I did. I tell you something that really, really helps, and I will always be grateful for as long as I have one, is my humidifier. That is something that helps me a lot. You know, it keeps the air from getting dry, and it helps me sleep. I pour my, um, it's like a Vicks vaporizing liquid into the top it heats up 
it goes into the air, it helps me sleep. I love it. Uh, it also helps our son sleep, our youngest. And I have used it with the older children before when they've gotten sick, put it in their room and ran it through the night. So it is really a lifesaver for anybody who's curious about, you know, is a neb, I'm sorry, not nebulizer, <laughs> humidifier. I've used a nebulizer before. I, I used one actually at the hospital to help open up my airways. But um, is a humidifier good for me when I'm sick? Well, possibly. And you know what? They're not really super expensive either. And one big thing you want to make sure that you do is the little fish that they sell at, you can get, you can get them at Walmart with the cleaning pebbles inside. You definitely want to get one ever so often to make sure that you keep your humidifier clean and sanitized and make sure you put clean water in regularly. And one thing I didn't know is that some water doesn't have the right chemicals in it or whatnot and um, you have to add salt. So each time I clean my water, I take, it's just iodized Morton salt and I just pour a dash in and it works just fine. If I don't, it doesn't do anything. So that was something I found a little odd. So it's just a dash of salt and you're good to go. You're vaporizing liquid and you should be good to go. Um, let's see anything else. I know this is going to be another short video because I'm just, like I said, you'll have to bear with me. I'm on the mend. I do want to keep with the every Friday posting. And um, I'm not answering that call. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to put my hand in the way. Um, but I, I like talking about things, you know, just every Friday and having something new. I really wish I had felt up to doing the original video I had planned to do today because I was really looking forward to it and it was going to be a lot of fun but with me just being under the weather and not being able to taste things like I normally would it kind of takes the fun out of it when you're supposed to be able to taste and describe how things taste if you can't really taste. So I hope all of you had a wonderful new year. Um, I did for the most part even though I was sick. It was still a good new year. We stayed in. Uh, we watched movies, we popped popcorn, we just kind of enjoyed each other's time, everybody, you know, the family, and um, some people nearby were throwing fireworks, which is always nice. And usually we go out, but with me being sick, we didn't want to run the risk of me getting sicker, and possibly doing damage to my lungs. I've had damage in the past done to my lungs. Um, I just don't want any more damage. I'm getting older and it's getting more difficult to bounce back from certain illnesses. If I sound out of breath, it's just because I'm sick. <laughs> I don't normally sound like this. It's just, you know, when your bronchial tubes are swollen and irritated and inflamed from coughing and stuff. It's easy. It could take its toll. But I promise I'm taking care of myself, staying hydrated, taking care of my son. He's doing well. He's probably doing better than I am. But um, we're, we're, we're mending. We're on the mend and we are on our way to getting better and getting well. You know, we want good health and a bright outlook for the future this year and you know last year was a different year it had its good points it had its low points overall I say it was a pretty good year so I'm hoping 2020 is going to be just as good if not better so I hope you all have a wonderful 2020 I hope to make many more videos I hope to get to know many more of you I hope to do fun things on this video and get new equipment. I hope that just everything goes smoothly this year, or as smoothly as possible. Of course, you know, any year's just, any year's going to have its bumps and trials, and you know, we're we're already you know having a little bump here with sickness spreading around, but that's to be expected, especially when you have school children. 
So, this is me wishing everyone a happy holiday, a happy new year, a blessed year, and I love you all, and I will see you next week. Bye!